Hi everyone, this is Shali Kumar again from Oski Nurse Training Cambridge and I'm experienced Oski Nurse Trainer for the NMC Oski exam in UK and also the lead trainer for Oski Nurse Training Cambridge. Uh, I'm back with another adult NMC Oski video for you. So if you like my channel, please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel okay it just keeps giving me a lot of motivation to keep making these videos for you okay so today's topic so what we're going to learn in today topic so before that guys uh, thank you very much for all the lovely comments you send on the youtube and also on our google review page okay for our google advertisement page uh, it really shows that you do value uh, our teaching style and what we teach you for your OSCE okay uh, so today's video we are going to look at uh, five most common fails uh, in your uh, mid steam specimen of urine and urinalysis which is one of your clinical skill station in your OSCE exam now why I chose this topic is because it's the most failed topic in your exam assessment station this station uh, basic life support these are the most common failed stations in your uh, OSCE exam and it's a very popular station in your OSCE exam a lot of you will probably get mid steam specimen of urine and urinalysis I mean all stations can come but I have seen this comes quite often and also this is the most failed station as well uh, because there are few challenges with this uh, it's tight on time it's only eight minute station and you got a lot to do in eight minutes and also the technique you got to get the technique correct and it's not only just correct doing correctly but it's verbalizing correctly as well so we'll look at five most common fails in this station and i will give you my top tips how you can avoid those fails and make sure that you can pass this uh, uh, station at first attempt okay so let's have a look at that the first one uh, so just a quick refresher so it's your eight minute station like I said so in eight minutes you have to give instructions to your patient which is normally a mannequin uh, to tell the patient that how to collect the mid steam specimen of urine and then go ahead and you do the urinalysis and the third part is tell uh, record your results and tell the patient what did you find abnormal in that uh, in that urinalysis and what's the significance of their finding so it's quite a lot to do so i normally see it in three stages like i said uh, telling the patient how to collect the msu and then uh, doing the urinalysis correctly and then recording your results completely and also so telling the patient what did you find which is abnormal and what's the significance of that reading so that's what you need to do in all that eight minutes okay so uh, let's get started so the first one uh, is that uh, failed to verbalize that you are dipping the urinalysis stick for less than one second now uh, there is a technique to it okay so when you uh, get your gloves and apron on and when you dip the urine dipstick into the urine sample make sure you don't dip more than one second okay because then it will have a lot of urine on it and it will just get mixed with all the chemicals uh, and you will not get the right result so it's less than one second that's the manufacturing instructions they don't want manufacturer doesn't want you to dip more than one second so make sure you do just no more than one second so it's a quick dip but make sure all the pads are dipped that's the other thing sometimes you can do it quickly but all the pads are not dipped I've seen that a lot in when we do mock exam and practice so make sure everything is dipped and if it's not dipped and you come out just take the another strip discard that one take the another strip and dip it okay but it should be less than one second and you need to verbalize it you may be doing it correctly but if you don't verbalize the examiner can't uh, pass you okay because it's on your marking criteria so make sure you verbalize as you're dipping that you're dipping less than one second uh, and put it on the tissue paper they give you to uh, soak the excess urine on it so that that's what you need to do uh, so the tip is uh, learn the marking criteria carefully so whatever is on your marking criteria and if they want you to verbalize it it says it clearly to verbalize that you will dip less than one second so please verbalize that like I said you may be doing it but if you're not verbalizing it examiner can't hear you is still a fail so that's the first one so you might think well that's the odd one but that's a very common fail uh, next one is number two uh, failure to perform the test correctly now this is something 
obviously would fail you if you're not doing correctly uh, when i say correctly uh, in real practice people just pay match the results and done but in exam you really need to do it as per manufacturing instructions so the instructions are on the box uh, normally they use this company called siemens as you can see on the slide uh, i have put down but it doesn't matter what company they use and what make they use of the urine dipstick this is the one they have shown on the their um, kind of equipment list but uh, and uh, you know they could use any make but this is the, what i have come across that they've been using so um, uh, but the thing is doesn't matter what make it is you need to do follow the manufacturing instructions which is uh, pretty universal for all manufacturers because certain um, elements on that um, in the urine need to be tested at certain time when you dip it so uh, how to do it correctly so i would say there are few tips i can give you how to do it correctly so first thing is uh, when you dip your stick make sure you're looking at your watch so they give you four watch on the table i would highly recommend you dip it at half a minute or full minute okay on the hands on that thingy because then it's easy to work out your timing if you dip it in between it's very difficult so either dip it on the full minute let it run to the full minute and then dip or dip it at half minute then it's easy to work out your 30 seconds your 40 seconds your 45 seconds okay so it's uh, 60 seconds and then two minutes so everything is from time of dipping not from the previous time it's the from the time of dipping so the first one we test is glucose which is 30 seconds from time of dipping so make sure you have some kind of a technique going there that you're looking at your watch when you're dipping it so that's the first one make sure you look at the time on the watch at time of dipping and make sure you like I said dip it on full minute or half a minute then it's easy to work out number two uh, follow the instructions on the box so the timings are on the box where you comparing uh, but I have also kind of zoomed in and uh, put the timings on there on the screen for you as well like I was saying you start from glucose like the arrow is telling you arrow is on the box as well so it's telling you to start matching the first one from glucose going up okay uh, so just make sure that you are following that order so glucose like i said is done on 30 seconds and then you got your um, ketone 40 seconds specific gravity 45 seconds then you can see blood then others are on 60 seconds and then you got the leukocytes on the top which is on two minutes so you make sure you dip at the right time and make sure you are looking at your clock and verbalizing now is 30 seconds i am reading glucose okay now is 40 seconds i'm reading ketones now is 45 seconds i'm reading specific gravity so that's really really important that you do that um so and go right way glucose going up okay and you have to rotate the box as well to match um keep verbalizing the timings like i said so you know uh, even if you think uh, you know you, you're looking at the timing and you may, might think oh well it's 32 seconds instead of 30 but just say 30 seconds i'm i am looking for glucose i'm looking for ketones 40 seconds is 45 seconds gone i'm looking for specific gravity 60 seconds gone i'm looking for blood now at 60 seconds they're, they're uh, four different elements tested on 60 seconds you can't look at all the 60 seconds so just look slowly and write uh, at the same time if, especially if it's positive okay so that's important number three so that's your correct technique that you verbalize everything your timings uh, number three is failed to document your analysis your analysis finding correctly now you may have done it correctly but if you haven't documented it correctly then it's still a fail on your paper as you can see you have to do documentation i'm just showing you the completed one here but that's how you document now i've written my glucose in millimoles you may write plus 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 that's fine plus 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 as long as it's correct it's okay uh, but uh, so yeah so most people tend to do is they want to get the urinalysis done and then document but by that time they've forgotten the results or they're mixing up was it one plus was it two plus was it three plus or they have forgotten the value for the specific gravity or pH and then they document wrong results okay and then they try to look at the strip by that time time has passed now the strip is gonna give you wrong results because they need to be that at certain time so the the, the best tip I can give you here is uh, try to write uh, 
the positive values straight away. Like if you find positive glucose, just write that straight away, okay? If you find your ketones are positive or what is the number for specific gravity or pH, please write it straight away, especially the positives or the actual values, like pH is a value, specific gravity is a value. So write that down because later on you will forget and then you will try to guess the wrong one and that would be a fail. So make sure you writing those things straight away as you are dipping it. So you, uh, you could look at glucose, ketone specific gravity together at 30 second 40 45 second and at the end of 45 second write those three uh, and then if you find from blood going onwards anything positive write that straight away if it's negative you can fill it at the end of two minutes that's fair enough but if it's positive value well, write it straight away because otherwise you will get it wrong okay so that's the other tip i can give you um, uh, so that's important that you document it correctly uh, and number uh, four now, fail to identify the significance of the results and inform the patient of the results. So now that's very common fail in this station that you need to. So what happens is you have done the urinalysis, you forget to tell the patient what are the results and what is the significance. So I found glucose in your urine, that could be indication of diabetes, but we need to do more investigation. I report these results to your doctor, doctor will discuss it further with you. Okay, so you do really need to tell, uh, you found blood, you found protein. So you really need to know what does he mean? What is the significance of the finding clearly? You can't just make up something. You have to be correct and you need to improve your knowledge on that. So read up on your analysis results. There are lots of resources online which are uh, quite good on reading up what are the abnormal values means in urine. So just read up on that and make sure you know the significance of abnormal results specifically. Uh, so you should know that and be able to tell your patient briefly but quickly but you know still correctly you don't need to say a lot you only need to say a brief uh, significance of it but you need to say correct and what would be the further management i will report the results and the doctor will discuss it with you but this positive means it could be this okay so you need to say that number five fail to complete the session in eight minutes so now this is the very common fail i should have actually put it first probably because that's the most common fail uh, in this 80 minute station is tight on time uh, so my tip will be don't repeat the things they have already asked you that they are done like they always tell you patient name id uh, and allergy check his status is complete so please don't waste time on that lots of people still do it and then they can't finish in eight minutes again learn how to give instructions for midstream specimen of urine very clearly they are part of the marking criteria already given to you from nmc so read it clearly learn it clearly so you don't get yourself confused and can give that very very quickly so try to do the instruction part and the beginning of the station very quickly first two minutes and at least leave yourself six minutes for your analysis and doing your uh, giving your results to your patient and another thing i can tell you a very quick tip which actually is very helpful when i teach nurses is multitasking at the end now this is a station where you may have to multitask so you could be taking your gloves and apron off in the end uh, and discarding them but at the same time you could be looking at your results and talking to patient you could be doing last final hand hygiene and could be looking at the results and talking to your patient okay you still want to pass the station even if you got last 10 15 seconds left as you're taking things off disposing them just start talking to your patient look at your thing you already know what positive in that even if you can't give negative because negative is fine it's normal but whatever is abnormal even if you can just go through the abnormal results very very quickly and tell your patient what's the significance of it and you will report it to the medical team or doctor uh, if it's a minute scenario to the gp and gp will discuss further so you really do need to actually uh, have to multitask you could be doing final hand hygiene and talking to your patient you could be taking your gloves and apron off and talking to your patient so don't think oh i need to finish this step and then move on to talking no without telling the patient the results you will not pass this exam so uh, this uh, this station so exactly so you need to prioritize that and practice with a timer when you're doing practice for this station make sure your technique is correct because a lot of people get flustered because they are not following any time technique so look at your uh, for watch work out your timings in your practice as well okay 
so when you're practicing practice with the same technique you will do in exam so you don't get flustered and mixed up with your result write them straight away and that's another time wasted people who don't write it straight away then they get confused later on then they're flustered then they're wasting time and that's not gonna let you finish the station in eight minutes so these are the top tips practice as you will do in exam looking at your clock uh, looking at your watch uh, and and then again you know multitask at the end so these are my top tips for this station i hope they will keep you safe in exam and you can pass this station in first attempt uh, so if you like my video please press the like button now and don't forget to subscribe you can also visit us on oskinurstraining.com and also email us on oskinurstraining at outlook.com i will soon be back with another video for you and keep sending the comments okay bye for now